covering 3.3 million acres of rugged mountains, dynamic glaciers, temperate rainforest, wild coastlines, and deep sheltered fjords, Glacier Bay National Park is a highlight of Alaska's Inside Passage and part of a 25 million acre World Heritage Site, one of the world's largest international protected areas. From summit to sea, Glacier Bay offers limitless opportunities for adventure and inspiration. Located at the end of Glacier Bay, Marjorie Glacier extends over a width of about one mile and extends upstream for a length of 21 miles till its source on the southern slopes of the hill of Mount Root at the Alaska-Canada border. Glacier Bay and Marjorie Glacier are approachable only by air and water. The steep drop-off of the Marjorie Glacier Cliff facilitates large cruise ships to park close to the glacier, from where one gets incredible views of the glacier. While most of the tidewater and terrestrial glaciers in the park are stated to be thinning and receding over the last several decades, Marjorie Glacier is said to be stable and Jones Hopkins Glacier is stated to be advancing on the eastern face of the Fairweather Range. Calvin is when chunks of ice break off at the terminus or end of a glacier. Ice breaks because the forward motion of a glacier makes the terminus unstable. We call these resulting chunks of ice icebergs. Marjorie Glacier at mile 63 is perpendicular to the Grand Pacific Glacier at mile 64 widest glacier in the Glacier Bay, with widths of about two miles. It flows in southeast and northeast direction to Tar Inlet, one mile north of the terminus of Grand Pacific Glacier and 87 miles northwest of Huna. Glacier Bay provides excellent glacier experiences of both receding and advancing glaciers existing side by side. The Glacier Bay region, which in 1750 was a mass of ice of a single glacier, has undergone a dynamic change and is now a 65 mile long fjord. Grand Pacific Glacier is a 25-mile-long glacier in British Columbia and Alaska. It begins in Glacier Bay National Park in the St. Elias Mountains, seven miles southwest of Mount Hay, trends east into the Grand Pacific Pass, 
area of British Columbia and then southeast to the head of Tar Inlet at Alaska-Canada boundary, 68 miles west of Skagway. Lamplu Glacier is an eight-mile-long glacier located in Johns Hopkins Inlet. Jones Hopkins Glacier is 12 miles long. It begins on the east slopes of Lituya Mountain and Mount Salisbury and trends east to the head of Jones Hopkins Inlet, one mile southwest of the terminus of Clark Glacier and 79 miles northwest of Huna. When Captain George Vancouver first set eyes on the small five-mile inlet that was Glacier Bay in 1794, he described a sheet of ice as far as the eye could distinguish. By the time naturalist John Muir visited in 1879 with a group of the native Tlingit who called the bay their ancestral homeland, the ice had retreated enough to begin exposing one of the world's most majestic wildernesses. His poetic descriptions of the area have been inspiring visitors to Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve ever since. And now we are one of the fortunate travelers to see this incredible place for ourselves. There is no place quite like it on Earth. Over 3.3 million acres of forest, inlet and shore, mountain peaks rising over 15,000 feet, and of course, the namesake glaciers. Great rivers of ice that stretch over and between mountain ridges until they meet the green tide water, calving large chunks of ice with thunderous cracks into the sea. Wildness, remote, dynamic, and intact. And so we are in Glacier Bay, a land reborn, a world returning to life, a living lesson in resilience. If ever we needed a place to intrigue and inspire us, to help us see all that's possible in nature and in ourselves, this is it. Glacier Bay is a homeland, a natural lab, a wilderness, a national park a United Nations Biosphere Reserve, and a World Heritage Site. Not a bad resume for a young land, a new sea. Just 250 years ago, Glacier Bay 
was all glacier and no bay. A massive river of ice, roughly 100 miles long and thousands of feet deep, occupied the entire bay. Today, that glacier is gone, having retreated north. Fewer than a dozen smaller tidewater glaciers remain, and they are witnesses to change these rivers of ice. They invite us to slow down and breathe deeply of the cool ice age air, and to imagine, if only for a day, the way things used to be. A journey through Glacier Bay is more than a journey through geography. It's a journey through time. We begin in the modern age and finish in the Ice Age, traveling north from the forested Lower Bay to the rocky, icy Upper Bay, roughly 65 miles. We pass through hundreds of bold changes and subtle transitions where plants and animals pioneer new ground and surprise even the most seasoned observers of nature. A bear crosses a glacier, a moose swims an inlet, a seedling spruce emerges from granite, reaching for the sky. Life is tough and tenacious here. No wonder Glacier Bay holds powerful stories and attracts scientists, preservationists, and travelers from around the world. <laughs>